The content of this podcast has not been evaluated by Health Canada or the FDA. It is educational in nature and should not be taken as medical advice. Always consult a qualified medical professional to see if a diet, lifestyle change, or supplement is right for you. Any supplements mentioned are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Please note that the opinions of the guests or hosts are their own and may not reflect those of Advanced or the Molecular Research Incorporated. Welcome to Supplementing Health, a podcast presented by Advanced Orthomolecular Research. We are all about applying evidence-based and effective dietary, lifestyle, and natural health product strategies for your optimal health. In each episode, we will feature very engaging clinicians and experts from the world of functional and naturopathic medicine to help achieve our mission to empower people to live their best lives naturally. Did you know lactoferrin helps promote cellular health and healthy aging? And it works within the body as a powerful supporter of immune health. Lactoferrin is an iron binding protein found in human milk and bovine milk. It is the second most abundant protein found in colostrum, which is the first milk babies consume after birth. AOR's Lactoferrin 250 is a non-GMO, vegan-friendly, and gluten-free formulation that contains no lactose while providing the dosage of lactoferrin you need to boost immunity. Get yours today at your local retailer or online at AOR.ca or AOR.us. Hello and welcome back to Supplementing Health. Today I have the honor of introducing Maggie Berghoff, nurse practitioner, entrepreneur, and celebrity health strategist. After training as a nurse practitioner, Maggie went on to study and specialize in functional and integrative medicine at the Institute for Functional Medicine. She is the CEO and founder of functional medicine and health company, Celproceo, trusted by A-list celebrities, professional athletes, and CEO executives of disruptive brands. Using cutting edge laboratory testing and personalized guidance, Maggie and her team help their clients to activate their fullest physical and mental health so that they can look, feel, and perform at their best. Hi, Maggie. It's a pleasure to have you join me today. Hi, it's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. So do you mind sharing a bit about how you got started working with athletes and in this field? Yeah, so um, I got started in functional medicine through my own health declines, and my own health declines were a direct relationship from the stresses I put on my body, not just mentally, but physically, Um, just being, you know, type A, go-getter, always doing things, always, you know, off to something new, Um, and I loved that and doing that, and I still am that type of personality, um, loving to, you know, achieve and, and to become the best version of myself, and when I had a huge health crash and my doctors told me basically there was nothing we can do for you we don't know why this is happening you're going to be on medications forever um you're going to have to be on iv therapy i mean like the list goes on i just did not accept that as an answer and i sought out functional medicine very selfishly at first just to heal my own body and then once i did heal my body to where my lab values that my doctor said i would have my whole life and that i'd have these diseases and autoimmunity my entire life there's nothing they could do all of a sudden all it was gone like my labs were pristine i came off of all of my medications that they told me i'd be on lifelong and i just was like oh my gosh i cannot believe that if i wasn't me and i didn't go back to schooling and figure this out for myself that i would have just been like had to accept this And so that's when I started working with people and helping them to balance their body and balance the the high performing, the high stress, the like always on the go type of lifestyle with some healthy measures and not in the like a restrictive give away all things type of way, but just like in a very strategic way to where we can balance the body, strengthen it, make it perform at a higher level, wire it stronger so that we can combine the two And instead of having these massive health crashes or end up with heart disease or depression or anxiety or whatever it is, we are able to continue performing at the top of our game, whether that be as an athlete or in your company or as a stay-at-home mom raising your children. Whatever your game is, you can stay performing at your highest, feeling your best um, while using some specialty functional medicine uh, laboratory testing and techniques to mesh the two. So from a physiological aspect, um, what does aggressive training or aggressive high performance on a continual basis do to the body that you look at addressing? 
Yeah, well, so first of all, it depletes energy. So like this is stress on our body. So for pro athletes or for anybody like exercising, for example, that's stress on the body. Now for elite athletes, like that is accelerated to the max, right? We're always pushing further. If you're in a company, you're always pushing further. You're always trying more. If you're on the road on tour, like there's always more to do. And so it takes energy from the body. It's a stressor on the body. It causes inflammation. Now we're causing that inflammation on purpose. So what my job is, is to come in and like, yes, from a biochemical um, standpoint to fix those, those imbalances, to reduce the inflammation wherever we can, knowing that we on purpose are bringing it in, right? Like we're on purpose, pushing our bodies pretty hard. So where can we reduce inflammation in our life that we can control and then also strengthen the body and increase energy reserves so that we have more energy to go do our thing. Um, so like, that's kind of like from the internal part, we're rewiring, we're making it stronger, we're boosting nutrients, we're decreasing inflammation and helping your body out as much as we can so that it can handle the excessive fitness or, you know, traveling across time zones, four different states in one week, like doing different conferences or whatever it is for you, your body's going to be able to handle that. Even something so simple as, you know, going out to dinner, eating a ton of stuff that your body usually doesn't eat and isn't used to it. Like you should be able to do that and not wake up the next morning feeling like absolute crap and like gained five pounds overnight. Like your body should be able to compensate for those types of those types of experiences and those types of times. So now we hear a lot about the negative effects of the inflammation and stress on our body just in general, not even when you are performing at that kind of a level. Um, and so one of the main systems that we know it affects is your immune system. What kind of um, actions do you take to really bolster the immune system when you're dealing with these high-performing clients? Yeah, so uh, in general, you could take immune boosting supplementations. Um, I actually don't do that in my practice. We do everything based on laboratory work. So what I would do for a client is I find out, or what were you or whoever, I would find out exactly what your nutrient levels are and what your metabolic pathways are doing. That And even like your gut function, right? So do you have a gut imbalance that could be damp dampening your immune system? So I figure out exactly what's going on in your body and from a very scientific standpoint, look at what we can fix. What can we hack? What can we address and improve? If you're deficient in a certain nutrient, then that's the nutrient we supplement with. You know, everybody says, oh, take vitamin C to boost your immunity. Well, if your vitamin C is perfect, that's not going to be the thing that's going to, you know, be helpful for you. Maybe your magnesium is in the tank or your vitamin D is in the tank. Like those are the things that we're going to focus on. Um, but definitely that's one of the things you can do. And again, you can, like you said, inflammation is related to immunity. So you can decrease inflammation to increase immunity. So even if you don't take, say, you know, a vitamin to increase your immune system or whatever, or a green juice, if you do things to decrease inflammation, like, I don't know, infrared sauna, red light therapy, go for a walk outside, sleep, um, go to sleep at the same time every single night, wake up at the same time every morning, focus on anti-inflammatory foods. Those are types of things that we can do to reduce inflammation, which in turn will increase our body's immune system. Okay, no, that totally makes sense. Um, now, when you're re dealing with professional athletes or elite athletes, does the type of athlete that they are affect uh, how you will see the body being affected? Like, does endurance athletes have different concerns than strength or power athletes? Yeah, absolutely. And um, everybody has different concerns and everybody, even no matter what type of athlete, athletic um, performance that they're doing um, because each person is different. So even, you know, two NFL players are going to have completely different protocols, completely different needs, um, even if they're the same position, right? So we want to make sure that we're addressing everybody in a unique standpoint. There are differences for sure. So like you said, that example, an endurance athlete, they're going to have different stressors put on them. They're also going to have different demands. Um, you know, it's, it's it's actually it's like not smart to it's not easy for the body to do this type of performance right so we have to make sure that we're helping our body out as much as we can in the areas again that we can control so that we can perform at that level and stay healthy um, because performing at that level for you know a short sprint two years at the top of your game that is not what we're looking for we are looking for long term performance year after year after year after year um, so that you can stay well for good. And you mentioned inflammation a lot, but most of the people, I think, when they hear inflammation, you think of, you know, a cut on your leg or um, maybe joint inflammation from conditions like arthritis. But 
obviously there's other forms of inflammation in the body. So how do you identify that there is inflammation and know where to start when you're trying to address that? Yeah, so you're right. So inflammation is like a good thing, right? I talk about it in a negative sense, but it just alone, it's good. It's our body's defense mechanism to keep us safe and alive. When we get that scratch or bee or whatever it is, our body rushes to fix it and it, it puts, that's inflammation. It's a good thing. It has become a bad thing for you, me, and most of the people in the world because we have inflammation going on chronically, whether that be from a hard workout and you have inflammation because you've just ripped a bunch of muscles and now your body's rushing to repair those muscles, right? That's stress, that's inflammation. Again, it's like, that's the good kind, but also it could be negative. It could hurt our body if we, if we don't have the capacity to repair. Um, we could have inflammation from sitting in traffic and getting really worked up and really upset about it. Like that causes that fight or flight sympathetic nervous system inflammatory response. And so the fact that we have low grade inflammation, and those were both examples of fitness and mentality, but even from, from things like what you put onto your body or what you eat or drink, right? So some foods say that food or that lotion has a bunch of chemicals in it that causes inflammation in our body because our body does not identify that as its own. It identifies that chemical as what it is. It's a foreign substance. Um, it's a chemical, it's a toxin. And so it is going to inflame to protect yourself from that, to detoxify from that. Again, our body's supposed to be able to do that. But when we have those things, the lotion, the makeup, the food, the drink, the workout, all of the things that pile up onto each other, that's when you start to see symptoms of inflammation where you may feel swollen, you may have chronic pain, headaches, anxiety, depression, skin is breaking out, hair is thinning and falling out, you're really bloated all the time, no matter what you eat, your bowels are irregular, you know, alternating even maybe from diarrhea or constipation or just like having aches and pains. That's when we start to feel these actual symptoms um, when enough is enough, your body cannot compensate any further and that just takes that one final hit to pour you over the edge, to, to pour that glass over the edge, to have start having those symptoms to where you're not just, you can't just deal with it anymore. It's definitely impacting your day-to-day -day life. So we talked about how each individual has their own kind of capacity, right? And, and there's many different factors that play into that, such as diet and environment and all of those things. But can the same individual have different capacities depending on the day and kind of the season of life? Yeah, for sure. Um, well, first of all, our, our life changes as we go. If you're under, you know, if you're for athletes in season, you're going to have a lot of different stressors on you. And maybe when you're off season, you'll have different stressors on you. Maybe like that's when, I don't know, you, you party a bunch or you're traveling a bunch, which no shame. Like I, I'm not judging that. But what I'm saying is that you have different things going on in your life. It could even be something like a trauma that happened in your life. Maybe somebody close to you passed away. Maybe you got in a car accident, like that trauma could impact your inflammation and your body's ability to repair itself. So it definitely changes. That's why health is a long-term game. This is not just here, take the supplement. This is going to reduce your inflammation. Like that is, that is not it at all. It's a long-term game and it has to involve, um, yes, targeted supplementations are useful at times, um, you know, IV therapy, whatever it is that you are utilizing to boost your body's mechanisms, but also keeping track of your functional medicine lab work. Uh, every single year, our clients get lab work done, usually in January, just like to start the year. Um, we do this total body blueprint where we're getting lab work done. We're seeing what's going on in your body right now. Because what's going on in your body right now could be totally different than what was going on six months, a year ago. And in order to prevent big things like the cancer, the heart disease, the autoimmune disease, in order to prevent that, and stay on top of your game if you're putting yourself through all these stressors, then you need to be tracking that information. You need to track the stats. You need to know what's going on in your body so that we can fine tune and um, help your body to, to remain well. And what are some of those biological markers or tests that you do as part of your body boot camp? Yeah, so we, um, we look at head to toe, inside out, every organ, what's going on in the body. So we do testing, looking into things like gut parasites or bacteria. I mean, heck, maybe you were in Europe, I don't know, you ate something and you've got a gut bug now. Like we can catch that before it starts to really impact your life. So gut bacteria and parasites, um, digestive enzyme levels, 
omega-3, 6, and 9 is very important. So how these are inflammatory levels in your body. Um, so we need to make sure that those that balance is really optimized. It can also impact cardiac health. So that's something we're always looking for, especially with our clientele. Uh, we put ourselves under a lot of stress on purpose, like my clients and, and you and everybody. So, um, so we're looking at those things. We're also looking at nutrient levels. That is something that is so easy to optimize. Um, you know, if we test your, your body and we're testing your blood, like this is actually what's going on in your body right now, and we see a bunch of deficiencies, we've got to fix those. Your cells, like your cells need those nutrients to function. If you have a gut bacteria or parasite, if you have nutrient imbalance, if you have inflammation in your body, it's going to impact every single one of your um, one of your systems and lead to a bunch of symptoms. Um, a good example is something like your gut health. So when we look into gut health, it's not just, oh, well, we don't want to be bloated anymore. Um, it's also we want to feel better because a lot of our happy hormones, serotonin and, and all of the good hormones and neurotransmitters that are in our brain are actually developed in our gut. So over 80% of those neurotransmitters are made in the gut lining. That's why like, we're not just checking the gut to help your you know, bowel movements or bloating issue. It's a holistic approach. We're trying to boost your mood. We're trying to get your energy levels up. We're trying to help you sleep better. And so those are some things that we look into. And does the sex of the individual play into where you tend to focus on or how you uh, roll out your protocol? Um, yes and no. So in the fine tuning stages of things, yes. So if we are fine tuning hormone levels, for example, then male, female, are, the protocols are definitely going to be different. Um, but in the initial stages, like for example, if you're just starting out right now, you're listening to this and you're like, man, I want some labs, like the male, female doesn't matter as much, to be honest. Um, we just want to see the general overview upstream of what's going on in the body, your lifestyle, your toxicities in your home. Um, how you're living, eating, drinking, sleeping, thinking, moving, like all of those things. And then the upstream labs, like your nutrient levels, your detox pathways, your gut health. Um, and then where it comes to, you know, the, the, the gender, the sex of the individual, more so impacts maybe hormonal levels, which is more downstream in the body. So that would be addressed more so if, you know, things aren't improving or if we want to dig into that further, then that's where that further custom customization would be going. Um, also, mindset has been a big topic of discussion recently, and I was curious if you find with your high-performing clients, if you need to do mindset work with them, or because they already kind of have that drive and like a performing mindset, it's not as big of a factor in how they approach their health. Well, we actually, we really, really do focus on mindset, and from, I guess, two main areas. One is that, of course, I, myself and my practitioners, we are motivating them. We're helping them to reduce their stress and whatnot. But if they need that further help, we actually have on in-house, we have a psychologist to help. So sports psychology. And then we also have even like a mindset um, brain person who is trained in hypnotherapy. And she helps people who really need to blast those blocks that they're having, whether it's that they can't, you know, I don't know, pitch to first base because something keeps on happening. Like they have this block and they can't get past it, that type of thing. Um, and then we also have thing, um, she helps work with people who have PTSD. Maybe they had cancer, their mom had cancer and they're like, they're, they're fearful of that or they lost, they, they were building this company and they lost it all once. And that's like a big fear of them and keeping them from moving forward again. And so we have that, we have those extra things. And then just from like, not that not that perspective, um, but more of a, like a less intense perspective. What we do with just our with our practitioners in functional medicine, a lot of what we do is help to simplify their life. So a lot of people, when they think about you know doing a health protocol or having a functional medicine practitioner, they're like, oh no, mm, I don't have time for that. That seems hard. They're going to make me give up my alcohol or my food or whatever. And that's not the case at all with our practice. Um, we help you live in a very modern world and social socialize and all of the things that you want to do, but optimize the things that we want to control in order to help your body perform better. And so one thing that we're doing is helping to simplify your life and your routine. And since we do work with a lot of professional men and women, that actually comes down to readjusting their daily schedule, making sure that they have time for themselves, setting them up for success in the morning, whether that be, you know, scheduling their infrared sauna session, just like they would schedule a very important meeting. So, I mean, even though we're functional medicine practitioners, we're actually managing their career routine and their, their lifestyle 
uh, day to day to make sure that they wake up and they're excited and they're happy and they, they have time for themselves and that they're really feeling good. They don't just look good. They don't just like everybody else think that they're killing it, but they actually truly feel really good inside and they have a good simplistic um, routine that can keep them going long term. Uh, that's fantastic. And diet culture is still fairly big in our society. I think we're starting to move away from it and there's more people starting to look at like mindful eating and different aspects of um, a healthier approach to nutrition and diet. Do you find some of your higher performing clients have fallen victim to this diet culture where it's, you know, there's good food and bad food and if you touch on the bad food, then you're a bad person basically? Yeah, I, 100%. And um, I would say probably in that aspect, like my, the female um, clients I have, especially athletics, um, CEOs, I mean, everybody, like, yeah, I, I would say 100%. And we, that's why we take a very different approach in what we do. We don't do any calorie counting or macros unless needed and desired. So like if we're trying to hit a very specific goal or fuel our bodies um, in a way that's going to give us more energy in a very like non-restrictive, fun way, we can start to kind of tweak the macros of their meal plan in order to give them more energy based on lab tests. So like we do a little bit of that, but we're also really cautious that if anybody has a history of eating disorder or they're like very strict and restrictive on themselves, like that is nothing we even talk about. And um, the reason is because that when when you are worried about the food you're eating or when you are shameful or guilty because of the food that you're eating that in and of itself causes way more harm in the body i promise you than eating the thing like i would rather have a client eat i don't know the the brownie that they want and just enjoy it and really appreciate it and be like oh my god this is the best brownie i've ever had i love brownies brownies are my jam I would rather have them eat the brownie, even if it had gluten in it or whatever, like all of the things, than to eat the brownie and be shameful and and like fearful, like and not like themselves for it and just go to the gym for two hours afterward or not eat the brownie, but have those same feelings, wishing they had the brownie and feeling sad and restricted. And like it just is this whole spiral. So, I mean, as you can tell, I'm really passionate about it. I hate that. Um, we come for, from things as what can we add in our life? Like, what can you add in your diet? We're, net, we're not taking away. Yes, there are some core things that cause inflammation and we educate our clients and you on that. Um, you know, like, like, you know, drinking soda is probably not gonna be your best bet for reducing inflammation. But there are some easy swaps we can make um, to reduce inflammation and still get the soda, whatever. Um, we can talk about that if you want to. But, but at the end of the day, it's about what can you add, not what can you take away. What can you add that's gonna give you energy? What can you add that's gonna make you feel amazing? Because, um, you know, no one wants to go through life feeling like crap and restricting oftentimes gets you into feeling like crap about yourself or about the food or fearing food or not going to events because you don't want to eat. Like that is not okay. That is not living life. And so um, we're always thinking, what can we add to make ourselves feel more energetic and vibrant and heal our body? And then the, the foods that we don't really want to include that... Um, on a day-to-day -day basis as like the base, um, typically kind of just phase out a little bit. Like you're gonna naturally choose something that's gonna be really nourishing for your body over the, the thing that you used to choose that made you feel like crap. So you'll start to notice that, but it's not a restrictive type of thing. Now, when you're talking here and you're saying like, we look at things to add, it kind of made me think about how often type A personality whether they be elite athletes, high performers in a corporate world, or even, you know, any other profession, they often tend to take on more than they maybe can chew in a sense. So when do you know, or at like what point does it become too much to keep adding and you need to start looking at what to take away? Less in a diet sense, but just in an overall life sense. Yeah, that's such a good good example because a lot of my clients, they don't want to slow down. They actually are putting more onto their plate and they're stacking achievements and they're they're very fast paced. Um, and I, we know that with our clientele and so we support them in that lifestyle. So we're not necessarily telling them, you know, you can't do that, you shouldn't do that. But where we're, we're helping them is to simplify what they can control again. Maybe that's delegating. Um, even something so simple as hiring a chef to make your healthy meals. Listen, you don't have time for this. This should not be something you're stressed about of what you're going to eat this week. Like, just hire a chef to do it. 
here, we'll tell your chef exactly how to cook for you to make you feel your best. So like delegation, and it comes back to helping them manage their schedules, uh, which you wouldn't think of from a functional medicine practitioner, but that, like that's a big part of what we do is um, where can we take a break and helping them to realize and to disrupt those patterns that um, maybe a fear of if they stop that, you know, their business will stop or that somebody else is going to catch up to them and letting them know that that fear is not true. And that in fact, the people at the top, top, top who are doing this really well are prioritizing their health. They're taking a break. They're taking vacations because that rest is productive. And that rest is going to keep you going longer and longer and feel really, really good while you go through this. Um, so yeah, we're never saying like, you can't do this or anything like that, but we're helping them to balance it out. Okay. You want to take on this new project? I got your back. We're in for it. This is going to be so exciting. Who can we put in place to support you to make sure that you're not going to sacrifice your health and happiness for this next goal. And we're helping them to figure that out. Well, we know of rest, like especially in the athletic world, rest is just as important as the training, right? Because it allows that body to repair. Um, so do you help them find ways that they can recharge then that aren't necessarily viewed as resting, but maybe like are multitasking? So they're, let's yeah. just say, walking their dog while they're also on a call or something. Just making yeah. an example. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So this is my, one of my favorite things to talk about actually is the rest recovery pamper type of stuff. Uh, my guys don't like the word pamper, but like, this is my, this is my jam. And I like to stack a bunch of health stuff in at one time. So this could look like in the morning time, going outside and barefoot in your grass with a glass of lemon water or something like that, or green juice or like whatever it is that your morning thing is. So when you're barefoot in the ground, that is helping to reduce inflammation. It's really grounding, it, it's earthing, it, it helps all these different inflammatory pathways. You're drinking that water, you're getting hydrated immediately in the morning, which helps to activate the digestive system, add some squeeze of lemon, whatever, some green juice to help to detoxify. You're seeing the sun, which sets your circadian rhythm, which helps to activate your mitochondrial cells in the body, which are like the ATP energy storing cells. So you're increasing that, you're telling your body it's time to wake up, you're getting fresh air, looking at nature, which is proven to reduce um, cortisol and fat storing hormones and stress hormones. So it's like all these things at one time and really all you're doing is going outside in the morning, right? But like, that is so powerful. And then even things like, I love finding um, relaxation hacks that are, this actually is, I like, I talk about a lot of free stuff so that if you're like, oh, I can't afford that. Like there's a lot of free stuff you can do, but if you are looking to invest in something for your health, some of my favorite, most popular ways to do that for relaxation and parasympathetic activation is um, red light therapy and infrared sauna. And you can do them at both at once. Like you can buy a red light therapy device and put it inside your infrared sauna. So you're literally getting all of that at one time. It's so, so powerful. And another one of my most favorite powerful tools, that's an investment for sure, but um, floating. So if you've ever heard of like flotation pods or um, uh, sensory deprivation tanks, this is where there's a huge pod and you can go to like a, a spa to do this if they have a spa. I mean, you can purchase your own as well. Like I have some clients who have their own, but you don't have to, it, it is a big investment, but you can go to a spa and it's this huge tank and it's filled with a bunch of water and 1100 pounds of Epsom salts. And if you don't know what Epsom salts do for the body, it helps to detoxify, it regenerates, it recoups. It's great for muscle health. So after your hard workout, after the game, after a long stressful week, whatever it is, and it detoxifies at the same time, it increases your magnesium levels. Magnesium is so freaking important. So um, it's like doing all this stuff at once and you float because the, like the, like the salts are so um, concentrated that you actually float in the water. That's why it's called sensory deprivation because the water is your exact temperature. You're floating. You can just totally zen out and relax. Most people, it's like very meditative. They just kind of meditate out and just relax and think and, and just kind of like let loose. And so those are some of my favorite strategies to rest and recoup. I completely agree with you on the float tanks. I've done them myself and it's amazing how much difference you notice after just like an hour of floating and how quickly the hour goes by, but still you feel so relaxed and recharged afterwards. I 100% agree with you on that one. Yes. Oh yeah. They're, they're awesome. <laughs> Especially if you are like, um, I mean, before I, I discovered flotation pods, I would, I was big on Epsom salt baths. And then I was like, what I could get, I'm always like looking for, you know, 
more, right? So, cause I am my ideal, like I am my client as well. So um, like you could lay in this flotation pod and for an hour and get the same benefits as like so many Epsom salt baths, right? So it's like, it's just so cool. It's just such a huge effect. It, it helps people both from a psychological and relaxation standpoint, but also like me, I love, I love the nutrient levels and stuff. So it helps to boost those and to get yourself healthy as well. And some places have couple floats as well, which gives you the opportunity for intimacy with your partner while you're getting those health benefits, which is cool too, because often these high performing professionals, it is one of the challenges is finding time with your family or your spouse or significant other and making sure that it's quality time, not quick spurts in between um, Absolutely, yes. everything else. <laughs> is that something else you help them with is finding those times or those ways to be intimate so that they're getting that human connection that helps to reduce stress and those sorts of things? Yeah, a little bit. Um, it, it's so funny because we do, like we literally just help people with their lives. Um, we're readjusting their work schedule. We're helping them hire people where they need help or we're training their support system. So we're telling their executive assistant, their chef, their people, how to both best support them. And then at home, like with the family, just even reminding them, like, listen, you know, what are you doing this for? Like you, you tell me that family is your priority, your spouse is your priority, but it doesn't show that in your lifestyle. Is that something you want to fix? And we're just helping them to really create that amazing balance. And, and also blast, a lot of it is limiting beliefs of that they have to be go, 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 or they're going to lose. Someone else is going to win. And that's not true at all. Like I said, like the, the truth is that um, incorporating fun, incorporating intimacy, incorporating relationships, incorporating an adventure and rest into your days, into your schedule is going to be so, so productive. And that is what, that is what the top players are doing. That is what they're doing. And so, um, so definitely that's like family life and, and spouses and just friends and, and all that kind of stuff is so, so important in your, in your life and in your healing. Well, fantastic. This has been a great conversation. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. If our listeners want to work with you or learn from you, how can they go about getting in touch with you and your team? Yeah, well, um, easier to remember is just my name. Um, so you could go maggieburgoff.com is my personal website. There's a link on there for health that is going to teach you, take you everywhere you need to go if you want to get health set up. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Maggie. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for having me. It was an awesome chat. Thank you for listening to Supplementing Health. For more information about our guests, past shows, and future topics, please visit aor.ca slash podcast or aor.us slash podcast. Do you have a topic you want us to cover? We invite you to engage with us on social media to request a future topic or email us at marketing at aor